chapter 14 disaster management time to think list various names of natural disasters disasters are major accidents or events that lead to huge loss of life and property and create emergency situations disasters can be natural or man-made earthquake tsunami flood cyclone volcanic eruption landslide and drought caused by nature are called natural disasters war terrorist attacks in some cases forest fires caused by human activities are called man-made disasters natural disasters natural disasters can happen at any time and at any place generally such disasters are very sudden and it is not really possible to prevent them or have enough time in hand to prepare well against them within a few minutes many people lose their homes and all their belongings and even lives too earthquake the word quake means vibration so earthquake means the shaking of the earth earthquakes range from mild to severe the cities of Uttarkashi and Jabalpur in India have suffered severe earthquakes in the past. During the earthquake, buildings get cracks, electric poles are uprooted, and transportation and communication is disrupted. The intensity and magnitude of the quake is measured on Richter scale. The instruments used to measure the strength of a quake is called seismograph precautions during earthquake as soon as you feel the tremors go out of the house to an open area if you cannot go out of the house then get under a heavy table or desk do not stand near windows bookcases or near tall heavy furniture do not use the lift if you are outside during an earthquake move away from buildings street lights and power lines. Drought. Drought is a period when there is not enough water or rainfall. It results in severe water shortage. Ponds and lakes dry up. Huge cracks develop in soil. Due to lack of water for irrigation, crops get destroyed and usually famines break out. People do not have enough food to eat. Their animals starve too as they depend mostly on farm waste. So, there is widespread starvation and epidemic causing death. Cyclone A tornado is called a cyclone in India. It is a strong and stormy wind that hits the coasts of India. Sometimes, storms originate in the sea caused by winds moving very fast in a circular motion. When the cyclone storm struck the coast, they caused huge damage to life and property. Cyclones can change direction suddenly, which makes it very difficult for meteorologists to forecast what will happen next. Flood A flood is a natural disaster that is common in the Indo-Gangetic Plains in India. Flood causes damage to life and property. It damages crops due to lack of safe drinking water and unhygienic conditions. Diseases like cholera and typhoid often break out, leading to further loss of lives. These are waterborne diseases caused due to contaminated water. Precautions during floods Do not drink unsafe water or eat food items exposed to flood waters. Shut off gas cylinders. Put off the main electric switch to avoid electrocution. It is dangerous to move or drive through flood waters because the water can be deeper than it appears. Wear gloves and boots to avoid skin contact with flood waters. Tsunami A tsunami is caused by an underwater volcanic eruption or earthquake. 
The waves that are more than 30 meters high hit the coastal areas and destroy everything. Japan is prone to this devastating disaster. During a disaster, one should move to the highest areas in the region. Volcanic Eruption A volcano is a hit with vent. The vent reaches down to the hot, molten rock beneath the surface of the earth. During a volcanic eruption, the molten rock is forced up the vent as lava. It flows out very fast and burns everything that comes in its way. It causes great damage to property and life. Landslide When a massive rock breaks off and slides down a hillside or mountainside, it is called a landslide. It destroys everything that comes in its path. Man-made causes of natural calamities Cutting of trees, global warming, failure of rains, overgrazing and urbanization like building of houses and roads on hills are some man-made causes of natural calamities. Sport and Health The armed force and agencies like WHO, World Health Organization, and Red Cross play a major role in supporting and helping the people in refugee camps. They support them by providing money, food items, clothes, blankets, medicines and other such essential things. Red Cross Society provides the affected people with all types of medical help. Many doctors and nurses look after the sick, wounded and the affected people. Radio, television and newspapers play an important role in helping the affected people. In their special reports and bulletins, they convey the messages of the affected people to their relatives living elsewhere. The telephone department provides emergency phone numbers and helpline services at relief camps during such times of crisis. People in India contribute generously to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund, PMO Fund, to provide health, 